Yes, welcome back to the King's Cup. I am Sir Danley, your knight. I am Court Jester Coke Caster Tsunami. My name is King Jetlag the <laughs> Third. And I am man child. <laughs> Can wait. <laughs> are you are you on adrenaline or you know <laughs> steroid or something? No, this I is actually all of the monster energy that I've been pounding down. I don't know why uh, you for some reason remind you of one of the bees from the bee movie. I thought That's not what I am. <laughs> I am man child. I thought it was more like Ness, Ness from Earthbound. That's what I was getting. From is him. Ness? Was Ness no, he's not that yoked. Big guns? Only in America could you find guns this big. And I'm so pleased oh, that we're, that <laughs> we're given an ex. <laughs> he's Cyclops like yeah, that dude, one. Dude, ex-king. You know he's offended. Ex-god has evolved into ex-king. I. We we got suited up now. We're suited up, and we're ready for game one of Clutch Gamers playing their fourth series in two days versus Detonator. Yep. <laughs> we, we, uh, can, we, can we please go into the draw? What? Yeah, just uh, you lift wave. some weights okay. into the... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pump some iron here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty Fantastic. good. Fantastic. Is that actually heavy? No, it's 10 pounds, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try here? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the muscle's not real. Calm down. No. I, he's, getting, oh. he's getting excited. <laughs> dude, I'm getting excited for this draft, and I, okay. I, I am. I am. So you know that I believe that in these two weeks there will be only few times that I get on the throne for sure. I feel like that <laughs> random system is not like me at all. Yeah. Rigged. How, how could you possibly know that? It's been one day. I think we've done the roll swap three, I have a three times. In one, I, one out I of three of those feeling. times, you're the king. Legitimately, I feel like I have been able to successfully guess my rolls. It's true. You have a pretty, pretty good. I rate think I've on gotten that. like three, three guesses right. I got wizard play by play yesterday, and then play, play by play today. You guys That's are not doing good. it for me. Right? <laughs> so I'm just gonna shoot out. I'm King Jetlag anyway. <laughs> we talked about this. Yeah. <laughs> That's not, you're on the same schedule. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got a brand new opening for today. We're actually opening up with Gyrocopter Io on the side of Clutch. Actually, top tier picks. Great well, against Undying, too. Yeah. Undying, also a top tier pick. Yeah. And, uh, oh. That's the counter. Okay. So they just just take just take his hero away, Nico baby. Chances are he was gonna be on the gyrocopter, so it's not a total denial. But hey, I think Clutch could just do whatever they want. To be honest. That's true. No. I, I'm curious if Iowa was like the king has decreed. I'm sorry. <laughs> <He's> decreed, no. <laughs> they can't do whatever they want. The only one who can do whatever he wants is me yeah, at the true. moment. Oh, okay. Yes. He's, man, he's getting into character a little uh, suspiciously too well. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for this, man. <laughs> this I was is waiting for one this. One whole day of pent up yeah. peasantry converting <laughs> right. into this. It's a lo lot of uh, peasantry going on. <laughs> 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 it's like you, there's been three times we roll sauce. <laughs> you, you have a good record so far. <laughs> anyway, so what <laughs> was like Io <laughs> Io banned previously or something? Why yeah, I I, I, I has been banned okay. in basically every single game. Okay, that's what I figured as much. No matter how much you nerf this hero, he just keeps coming back. A lot of people thought that now that relocates a channel, the hero's dead. Or sorry, I they they keep coming back. Right, it keeps coming know. back. That's a little insensitive. It's it's uh it it it's a being. You're objectifying this like creature, this like god. Whoa whoa whoa! Who said it was a creature? Oh, I'm so sorry. You better watch I'm it. So sorry. Dude, look at the king. He's giving me a side eye the entire <laughs> time. Yeah, I owe a lot of people thought that after the relocate got yeah, okay. nerfed into being. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just feeling. <laughs> I'm just feeling, man. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. He's healing in the fountain. Yeah. After he got converted to a channel, a lot of people thought that the hero was dead, but... Oh, but yeah. Good to see him back again. Yes. Uh, spirit. I have to say, I love the fresh draft coming out from Clutch. We're not seeing their typical heroes anymore. Maybe they just thought, guys, are, this is a bit boring. Let's let's switch it up a little bit. Io. This is what happens when, like, the, the Necro is banned. The Necro, uh, Nature's Prophet. Yeah. They just have to completely... 
draft a totally different... Detonator's definitely been watching Clutch's games because you wouldn't first phase an Nature's Prophet unless you've been watching Spartan. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Actually, I think I think uh, I think realistically, the reason that the whole draft looks entirely different for Clutch is because Wisp completely changes how yeah. the game is played. So, like the same heroes that are good in Dota are not good with Wisp necessarily, you know, because the you know the fact that you can basically just split with three and two and essentially always be as five that that's completely broken. That's like one of the most ridiculous mechanics in all of Dota. Uh, I just waiting for the perfect landing for that Wisp and Gyrocopter, you know. Every time they cast a Wisp and Gyrocopter game, they will always like... World War 3, and if your PC is not strong enough, it could easily get lacked out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me tell you. Dude, especially if they have like a Terror Blade and a Monkey Phantom King Lancer. and a Spectre and a Phantom yeah, Lancer. Yeah, yeah. Naga Siren. Tinker. Naga Siren, yeah. <laughs> remember, Tinker back in, remember back in old days we, we play Raid Alert with a lot of Kirov reporting? Oh man, that's oh, a man. <laughs> Kirov reporting. <laughs> 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 A drow strat. Drow. Drow with morphling. Drow with morphling. Huh. So mid morphling? Mid morph, drow, drow undying. I mean, drow undying is a classic. That's like one of the most common openers we've seen in the North American portion of King's Cup. Oh, really? Mm. Detonator yeah. maybe watching some NA dotes? Maybe. It's, uh, it, it looks pretty good, although the hero has been nerfed in the 7.19D. I don't mind the shaman and the undying. They're a really strong pair together. Laning stage will be good, but Morphling and Drow Ranger at the same time. You know what's the classic strat? What's the what? strat? Uh, this is this is uh, Kyle Kyle's strat. This is back when he was uh, Swindle Melons. When mm -hmm. he was still a player. You're right, exactly. When he was still good, um, which was never. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually think Kyle's really good. That's yeah. a Kyle, you, doesn't matter how big your muscle, <laughs> yeah. Kyle comes in and beats you up <laughs> real quick. <laughs> I know the guy. That's why I'm working on. I'm preparing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, he calls it the the tower strat. You just drop a pugna ward, you drop a, an undying tombstone, and you drop the serpent wards, and it's just a tower. <laughs> and you just fight around it. Okay. We're missing <laughs> the pugna though. Yeah. Is it banned? Uh, no, it right. is not. Pugna coming in hot. I, I'm predicting it's a ranged hero. It's off lane. Dude, those lands I will be all sorts of weird. I think. Hey man, you got an undying pugna. I mean, it's already kind of weird, right? You 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 have this like uh, shadow shaman. Yeah. Typically a five undying, which is typically a five. And uh, it's weird to see Drown Visage on opposing teams. I don't know why. That just feels awkward to yeah. me. Yeah. Mm. And it doesn't. It, it it's not necessarily a denial pick because there was still one more ban phase. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I suppose you could Damn you could throw the the man. Visage mid or the Gyro mid with the Wisp and pick the Drow still, but it would be pretty awkward. That's one of those drafts where it's like. We'll let them have it. <laughs> yeah. Totally ruin their lanes. I want to know what this offlane pick is going to be for Detonator because they need someone to sit in the front lines and also be their main initiator because outside of... Brew would have been really good. That was a good band. Yeah, yeah Brew would have been great, but outside of Shaman, they've got no initiation. Dude, we'll have Cent Underlord. Cent Centaur? Let me Centaur would be pretty good. Centaur would be pretty cool. I like uh, heroes that can Five, lock down the Visage and break through his... Stacks of the of the armor. What's it gonna be? Nice for Marana? That. Oh, just completely yeah, ignoring the the old city. Yeah, there's no. And there's a Meepo. Wow. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Wow. Who's the Nico? Oh, Alacrity Meepo. I am okay. so hyped. I'm intrigued. That is a very very good Meepo pick. Wow. Interesting. We don't have that much stats on the uh, team detonator. Mm. Yeah, Marana is the last pick. King, my friend. I I think this looks like a very squishy lineup. If I be may be so bold to say that. Honestly, uh, Alacrity bold. could just jump right on top of them, just poof, and that's it. Yeah. I, I am worried about the laning phase, though. Meepo against presumably a Morphling or a Marana. Oh, uh, it's, like it's Alacrity. It's fine. Yeah, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fine. It's 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 probably the only place in the game the where they can beat the Meepo, where they where they can stop him from snowballing. It uh, it definitely feels like a really, really good Meepo game, actually. All right, Reset, can you play some effect to, to go into the game? Yeah, I need I something epic. Okay. You no, know, I need uh, your spells. I'm gonna pop off a piece of my dick. Epic. <laughs> 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 okay. Um. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll go into the game with that. <laughs> I don't know what kind of. You have taken the king by surprise. <laughs> 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 oh. I'm, uh, I'm just trying to please my king. <laughs> he is okay? amused. He's trying to give him what he doesn't even know what he wants. 
He knows what he wants deep down. (laughs) See, this was why I was scared to go into that spell book yesterday. I I was looking at all those spells and I was like, I don't know if this is great. Uh, Oh, they're all (laughs) great. Is it paused again? It looks. Do we have a pause? Hold on. Yeah, I I just I wonder why so. why these day people pause doing uh, after the end of draft. I don't get it either, King. It's for bio, bio break. I didn't realize you could even pause during draft. Yeah, I think you can only do it whenever it's picking. Console I mean, like, whenever you have actually to select your heroes. You can pause now during any point in the game. I think they changed it. if you press F nine, it just pauses even during the draft. That seems like cheating. For That's Captain's weird. Mode. Definitely. They should make it very <laughs> noticeable. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not acceptable. <laughs> During the during the draft, any Blaze disciple would off with their head. Oh Who my would god! Pull that? <laughs> you wouldn't want to pull that one on a Blaze disciple. Good god! Imagine trying to pull that one on Blaze. No way! Oh dear! That's how you get banned from get King's Cup for life. Guillotine, <laughs> man. You get put in the guillotine every day. There's no there's no vote <laughs> system anyway. You'll, just put guillotine every day. Uh, rail into you so hard you'll want to guillotine <laughs> yourself. Alright, uh, before we go into the game, let's do some the thing to yeah. How would you like to do it, my king? To honor them, well, um, let's start from Mr. Danieli. Mr. Mr. Danieli. Yeah. You mean Sir Danieli. Yeah. I am your royal knight. All right, uh, we I are going to start with Spartan, who is playing on the Earth Spirit. You got Nico Baby on the gyrocopter. Alacrity, your favorite player on the Amiibo. KYXY on the IO. On the Visage, we have Skylark. Raging Potato on the Shadow Shaman. Oh, it's been a while, this guy. Uh, ben Hur on the Marfling. RR. Also looking for team, by the way, in case anybody's <laughs> interested. <laughs> <laughs> on Undying. Uh, uh, on our Drow Ranger, we have... Is this SC? I'm going to go with SC. I think it's SC. And Sam H on Murana. Dude, what a legend, yeah. Sam H. Samuel Hidalgo. Hey, what about Raging Potato? He's, he's ancient. He's legit. Dude, he's been around forever. Uh, he may not be around forever in this gank, but he's gonna... Skylark taking he's a so whole tanky. bunch of damage. Is he dead? He's dead. Right off the bat, the Drow Ranger is doing too much damage. Well, that's not, what happens not when you have... Not a great sign when your Drow Lane gets the first blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the Drow Lane, I should say, the enemy's Drow Lane. It's great if your Drow Lane gets first blood. She's gonna have that Wraith Band so fast. That's the best feeling. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so pull that plus four damage. Hell be yeah. Dope. Hell be yeah. Careful though, Visage. I mean, level one has grave chill, zero armor. He's pretty. He's, pretty he's so squishy. squishy. Yeah, it's a weird hero to think that it is squishy, but really, before you get the grave keepers, it's so squishy. Oh, look at the harassment there coming out from Nico Baby and KYXY. This bottom lane could go both ways, to be honest. Lots of kill potential on both sides. I yeah. have seen the uh, Gyrohopter with before, and and what I noticed when when uh, it's going through the game is uh, the only reason that Gyrocopter will lose a lane is uh, they gotta deal with the some fast approacher just like Weaver or, or or something that can reach the uh, Wiz real quick in this case it might be a Marana I find that the Gyro Wisp lanes usually lose when the Gyro goes way too ham and then feeds himself and then comes back and then does it again it's like common theme in a lot of these games. You feel like you do so much damage, so you just walk yourself in and die. I think KYX is prepped for that. Dude's got two fairy fires and a salve in his inventory. He's ready to go. He yeah, knows his like gyro's going to walk in and, exactly. and try to get himself killed. <laughs> <laughs> got to make the most of that extra regen, man. Yeah. But aside from that, though, it looks like middle lane, they're just equally trading, more or less. Bottom lane, it seems like they've got a peace treaty down here. It's just, you don't kill me, I don't kill you, we just farm. And then only top lanes, the only lane that we're really getting any pressure from. It's just because Spartan's trying to go for these consistent pulls. Yeah, that's true. Did we see any of the him doing his old cut the creep? He did, he did. Oh, okay. he, he pulled the previous wave. God, they just love pulling that second wave. I, I know. I want to ask about that if they win this. Yeah. I'm going to write that one down, actually. I'm the wizard. <laughs> I need to I, I have need a to decree. Talk. I have a decree. This is a decree? Yeah, that, I have a decree. I want you three, including my wizard, oh, to on. pick a side. Pick a side? Pick yes. a side? Okay. Pick a team. Pick a team? Yeah. I'm now. going to pick Clutch. And you, Mr. Clutch. Jester? Clutch? I pick Clutch. And you? I mean, I'll just I'll, I'll pick Detonator, then. Okay. 
Looks like we are going to see some aggressive play in the bottom lane. Sam H trying to gun down KYXY. He's going to try and run away. He almost gets hit by the arrow. He gets it. And that's going to be the IO down. Now the Shackles coming in from Raging Potato, looking to take down this Gyrocopter is all by himself. He's going to try and run out of here, but One can he beat. get away? No, no commitment. Too worried about the Wiz TPing in. Okay, and whoever loses this game, we have to do 20 jumping jack. So if Co the team that we the side that we went on loses. Yes, this game. Okay. okay. Twenty jumping jack. Right, right in right. front of me, right in front of the throne. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're hey, my you lord. My yeah, yeah, I guess you have no problem with that. Oh, no, Look at that. I'm, you, I'm you good, so I can buff, do oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's his daily exercise right there. I can do the jumping jack. There, with my there hands is some action on the screen. We, we we missed a kill on the visage. They're gonna be seeing another kill here onto Spartan. This top lane's gone all sorts of crazy, but it looks like they're gonna lose the drow here to Skylark. That's gonna be him dead, and RR is just sitting in the trees with 80 HP. Easy money too. Dude, on that he wanted to deny it, but he was like, "If I walk in, yeah. I'm gonna die to a right click." <laughs> Visage like. Easy money, man. Yeah, hey, easy money. Yeah, we gonna see like two jumping jack boy and girls. <laughs> what? You're already making the call. Yeah. I so, so call. does that mean if the king? So, who is the king going to vote for? If the king. I am. Yeah, I am the king. Yeah, like. Who would you have voted for? You know, they say you're you're the king, but you're a leader, right? Not not a manager. You're not gonna manage. Now you're teaching you're the king <laughs> how to, you know, like <laughs> the, the difference between leader and the boss, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Is that viral picture that you see in <laughs> Facebook or something? Exactly. <laughs> I know. I know. You're, you you're see that one? All right. So like, does does it is it a convincing picture? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it actually works. <laughs> so pick a team. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna go for. A detonator. Okay. okay. So oh, really? So wait, does that mean if no, 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 no? <laughs> I'm a king. I'm a king. So I'm just gonna watch you guys doing some exercise. Uh, well, it's uh, got you some get fights all over the place. They're trying to go for a kill onto Earth Spirit up top, bottom. They get K W X Y, but Raging Potato dies in the process as well. Three kills on the board as they also get the Earth Spirit in that top lane. All this action in the side lane is great for Alacrity. He is level 5 right now on this Meepo. RR running into Skylark and Warflings here as well. Do they try and go for the kill onto the Visage? He might regret his decision. Spartan comes in with the kick. They're going to get that kill onto the Visage, but they also lose their wow. ally RR. And now Spartan going to be running away from Ben Hur Jukes. Jukes for days, man. All right, fun. there we go. So wow. Ben-Hur rotates. He gets yeah. a kill out of Down it. bottom, though. Nico, baby, going to die. Just going to get that last hit with the... Hit from Sam H, and now KYXY all by himself without his gyrocopter oh will also fall. And then in the top lane, we've also got SC being ganked here by two, and he will unfortunately not be able to TP out. He's gonna be get killed off in just a second. SC Seems like should be dying oh. any second now, no. no? He's gonna lose. No, Grave Chill is gonna be the death of the, yeah. the Gust. No, not gonna be enough. Damn, he's got level two in the, the nuke on Visage. And I was theory crafting that with my offlane visage as I was playing that. And I was like, you know, this this isn't too bad to, to level this up. Yeah, I mean, assuming mm -hmm. there's not a ranged support to right click you constantly and be like, oh, this dude has no right, wave right. armor. It's like it lowers the mana cost, which is pretty insane. It's a little bit more damage. If you're in a dual lane, like, there's always going to be fighting happening, you know? Yeah. It's like. Mm. Visage has, al Visage has always been that hero that's really good in a tri lane versus tri lane scenario. I feel like dual lanes are so fight intensive that he's. I don't know, just a little thing. I like I like the solo assumption. Mid lane. It should be a kill onto the Meepo. Gonna poof one in. They almost get Lacrity's main Meepo. They get the secondary one though. They're gonna get the shackles onto the secondary. They're gonna bring in, in the main. It. He wants the kill. He doesn't get the Morphling. KYXY coming in. Is he gonna be able to get him with his balls? Just slaps him in the oh face. It's not God. enough. He turns and fights at 10% HP. That That's a Morphling player right there. Exactly. Looks like in the top lane we've got another Ooh, gank nice incoming. Stun. Nice stun there onto RR. Gonna keep the visage alive. And Spartan is gonna get out for free. He gets up for free. That was and sick. And he's all good. Although, have they? Has he forsaken Skylark? If they spot Skylark, they could absolutely kill this visage. The king is entertained. I like this one. Thank God. <laughs> Visage is about to hit level 6. He's so, so farmed too. Oh, Alacrity coming in for a backstab here, looking to grab a kill. Visage is still here. Who are they going to go for? They spot out this poor, poor Drow. Net. Oh, he doesn't get it. Just gets back in time. Just under the tower. If only Net cancelled. No. That I, would be that was, I'm so glad that that got nerfed. <laughs> Meepo players were in shambles after that. 
like they Screw Meepo some... players, honestly. Exactly. What the hell, That's man? what I'm saying. What's wrong with these Nice people? head of F to KYXY. And Lewis was going to be fine. Got to say, all the pressure coming in from this bottom lane. KYXY has been struggling down here. Just yeah. gets shackled and it's pretty much dead for him. I'm assuming that the Shirocopter lane is playing a comeback by Ancients as Skylark gets to kill in the top lane with Meepo's help. This is a new way to play Meepo. Everybody everybody likes to run to the lanes and gank and be active now. Unfortunately for Shadow Shaman, gets picked off by KYXY and Gyrocopter. Nice little kill there. Looks like we're going to get TP in that top lane. We've got Alacrity pushing at this tower with Skylark. RR comes in and also the Drow Ranger. Is this the right play though? This could just be the end of his life. Nice Gust. Going to prevent that poof. And Ben Hur is here as well. Alacrity's got to get this kill. Otherwise, he's just going to go down. They get the poof off. He gets that kill, but he also loses his own life in the process. Tower only down to half HP. Absolutely not worth. Yeah, these are nice rotations if you don't trade your life away for them. I don't think an Undying is worth your life as a Meepo. It's nice from the Morphling to counter-rotate to this, though. Yeah. Otherwise, they lose the tower. I have talked to the Eric uh, Fnatic manager yesterday, and uh, he said that one of the most important thing of these in this patch is the, um, the time management. Uh, some sometimes that uh, you have to calculate the time right uh, whether you're gonna um, try to force the enemy team to come and defend and just when when they all teleported down you just spread down and uh, do something else that that actually wastes the uh, the enemy team around like 40 50 seconds yeah the, the, these kinds of techniques are uh, what the um, defined teams like class A from class B yeah even timing like a defensive rotation like if you um, so, like obviously timing the rotation to force people yeah. in, but also timing your defense. Or like if you, if you don't get the right timing, you just fail to defend, and then you lose so much more. That was such a successful kill there onto the gyrocopter. They're gonna keep on going onto this with nice shackles there from Raging Potato. The Serpent Ward's doing some great work, killing off Alacrity as well, and also looking for Spartan. Here we small pickings as well. Three heroes dead on clutch. KYXY gets the TP out, but I have to say, Detonator are playing fantastic during the laning phase. It's looking like uh, some some people are going to have to do some uh, jumping jacks, isn't we'll it? See. It's all right. got to have some faith. It's a Meepo game. We're, all, we're positive here. Alacrity doesn't look like he's... Uh, all that practice on the meat. Well, already. I I told you guys. I I'm telling you guys that if you do a jumping jack right after the chicken that you have ate, uh, <laughs> well, that <laughs> is something. Well, what is this something you speak of? <laughs> I'm not vomiting on camera, Cyclops. Yeah, I don't either. care how much you make me exercise. I'm gonna be honest. This thing I'm wearing on my head, I don't think anything's gonna come out. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, I'm grounded here. Looks like we've got a Moonlight Shadow coming in from Sam H, using it to escape from all these heroes that the TP'd in to that bottom lane. They will at least know where RR is, but they should be more or less in a safe spot as uh, everyone else just going to give up this gank here for Clutch Gamers. Although we've got Skylark here coming in with Visage Birds. Does he want to try and kill Drow? He was thinking about it. Dude's got his Dominator already. All the space that Meepo's creating. Maybe it's just a decoy. Skylark is the actual carry. Yeah. Could, you Maybe. never know. You never Although know. He is uh, still below the Marana and the Morph. Yeah, yeah, but that's, that, that's Detonator has that going for them. That's true. You know. And the farm continues for Clutch Gamers as they unfortunately they have to keep three people in this bottom lane for Nico Baby because he has died two times so far. I'm telling oh. you, it's the, the classic gyro. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. Spartan Look not quite hitting onto the Marana. No one's stacking Ancients for him. I mean, everyone's very interested in protecting him in the lane right now, so no one really has the free time to go stack Ancients, but... With a smoke, though. It's weird with a Meepo, though, because you kind of want to focus all the farm on the on the Meepo. On just yeah. Sam H, the silence is there. Also, the cooldown. Can they kill off this Marana? Leap is there. They're not going to get that Marana at all. Are I they going to keep those. chasing? That's quite risky, but look who comes in from the side. We've got Raging Potato on the Shaman. They're just going to go off onto the rocket instead. And oh, oh, the arrow landing onto this Earth Spirit. Oh, boy. He has no mana on him at all. He's used his stick as well. Spartan, welcome back to the fountain. Hey, do you guys think that Team uh, Clash Gamer kind of lack the, the AOE disable spells in order, like, a crowd control spells so, so you can have, like, a proper cooldown? Yeah, they're... Basically relying on Earth Spirit managing to get a boulder smash. Until they get the Earth Spirit blank, it's really hard for them. Yeah. Yeah. And then I guess once Vis Visage joins them, then you have plenty of chain disable, so 
Earth Spirit jumps in with the Boulder Smash, and then you've got Meepo Earthbind on top of that, and then you've got the Familiars dropping down, and the entire time, most likely Gyrocopter has set out a homing missile, so it'll connect. What's the plan here for Skylark? Because he's been playing more or less independently in this top lane all by himself. Is it mostly for him to get farm? Is it supposed to be putting his presence on the map so that anyone in the top lane doesn't feel comfortable? I think, I, I think, I, pressure. Yeah, I think he wants to create pressure, make space for the Meepo and the opposite side of the map. Because someone constantly has to be in this top lane. If yeah, you leave he, the top lane, he will take that tower. Yeah, he's basically making, he's taking the least safe farm that other heroes couldn't take, and it's going to make space on his side of the map a lot safer for his team. Like Broodmother style. I, I, do, I do think that they should play with a lot of heroes to handle. Like We're going to try and go onto the Morphling. The Silence is there. Cooldown will land. The kick will land as well. But now everyone's going to be in full retreat because Raging Potato comes in with the side. The three-man three gust. gust from that Drow Ranger. One is down there looking to grab some more Ben. Her going to go straight onto the Gyrocopter. Nico Baby sent straight back oh, to the fountain. The Alacrity as well. And they're going to look for Spartan. This Mirana is also going to grab a brand new item. Detonator. They are on fire. Absolute fire. Still looking for Spartan. He's going to try and juke. Doesn't get it. Four here is dead. I, I, I got to say, you know, this was actually a small timing for Meepo because he just got his blink. They may have scouted it in that gank now. Wow, this is our first time seeing Detonator play in this tournament. Uh, maybe they might be the strongest one in this in this group oh, stage. Nico sees RR. RR is dead. Good night, my sweet child. I don't know why Skylark didn't choose to join that fight. It's possible that the tier 1 tower went down and he didn't have anything to TP I to. I think with Visage, you want people to come to you. That's sort of saying, like, you mentioned the Broodmother. Like, with Broodmother... But he didn't even take the tier 2 tower top. Like, if he did that, then I'm like, yeah, fine. For sure, it's, for sure. It's worthwhile. But he was farming the jungle. Like, he was hemming and hawing, like, should I come join this fight? Maybe I'll just take some Ancients and see how it goes. Yeah, I think at that point you definitely can fight. Um, it's j it's just that with Visage, it's like you TP in and you're Your familiar. familiars are still yeah. sitting around. So yeah. th they, they need to play around him. Like you mentioned the Brood mode, it's exactly like the Brood. Like at a certain point, you want to play to the Brood's webs. The Brood can't really go anywhere else. Right. Um, and, and then, you know, Gyro and Io play on the opposite side of the map, and they just relocate in. But uh, obviously we've seen how these teams really like to defend all of their towers, but unfortunately in this game, it's like when you have a Visage, you... You, you can't do that because you won't have the visage, right? right? Game is in shambles. If you look at the hero levels, there's a pretty big gap between the top and the bottom. Yeah, net worth wise as well. It's already 6k for a detonator, and this is against a Meepo team. Meepo needs to be over farmed yeah. to even be effective. He has a blink available, but how many, peop how many heroes can he kill? He's such a liability when he is dying a lot because. The way that the, the net worth works now, like the way it used to work is if you had an Alka on your team or a Meepo that was huge and getting a lot of farm and someone on your team died, they would still get a lot of XP and gold for that because of the total net worth. But now it's based on the individual net worth. So if Meepo's dying a lot, they get so much more for it. Like he actually becomes a liability if you're dying. That's that's exactly why you need an advantage. So, so then you'll be like immortal. Roche's going to be super fast. They're getting 48 bonus range damage from that Drow Ranger. Yeah, it's absolutely worth the server more, especially against a Meepo team. Usually, whenever Meepo hits level 15, gets that lifesteal talent, then he can solo Roche. Yeah, it's good to deny it. Not going to happen this game. It's so obnoxious, actually, just like having to sit around a Roche pit waiting for the Meepo to... May as well just goddamn take it, you know? It's frustrating when you don't have a Roche lineup. It's like, yeah. Oh my god, when is he going to go Roche? Like, at least with like a TA lineup, then you're like, okay, well, at least TA... You know, she has to spend a lot of time getting close to the pit or whatever. Meepo just needs to send one Meepo in the vicinity while the other ones are farming. Just blink in, too. Yeah. It's, it, it's so easy. So interesting choice coming in here for our Shadow Shaman. Raging Potato wants to go for an Aghanims as his first item pickup. I like it. I, li <laughs> I like that item in general on, on Shadow Shaman. I, I want as some a first spell. item? I want some spell from the Wizard. Well, he has Aether, he has Aether Lens. I mean, he has Ether Lens, but would you, when you want to grab something a little bit sooner, you're dragging the game out. Uh, I think I think they could definitely use the tower damage. I don't know. I, I don't know if he really needs anything else. Like they're kind of just balling right now, you know. Like just drop the Serpent Wards and let them go. And I think there's nothing that he can build that would be against the Meepo, and that's like the only thing that you would really itemize for. You're like, okay, well, the enemy carries what I'm most concerned about. I'll build this and this item to deal with them. Right. Really, they just need more damage to kill the Meepo. The king asked for some spells, so I'm going to give him some spells in this fight. All right, let's hear him. Hopefully we get them. 
Yeah, this is where the, uh, they are strongest in the game. But well, Detonator is gonna make use of it. Clutch Gamer is just balling up on that left side of the tower, just so afraid of just keep being jumped on. But Detonator can do whatever they like, they're, they're just Moonlight shadowing back. Not this one, mate. <laughs> 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 Who did that? I, I can't feel that it was mine or not. Because <laughs> I was like uh, secretly doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, know, uh, I know you were, man. It stinks over here. That's how effective <laughs> the spell is. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So many effective oh, God. spells. <laughs> Who is that for? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to annoy your king. <laughs> Yeah, what's up with this Crimson Guard first major item on the Visage, Jenkins? Team's alright. Aura build. Invis I mean rune. So Invis rune gonna be picked up. And what's the plan here exactly? I guess Clutch, they're just doing their best to secretly farm around this map, trying to get farm wherever they can. Because they've got the Visage down here, they're still moving around with this Gyro Wisp. I have to say, KYXY Nico baby, they have just been dragged all over the map. They just haven't had any real good dedicated farming time. They've just really struggled to find a lane and feel comfortable just to park themselves there. Yeah, and they're not really interested in joining any fights. The five man from Detonator is far more superior. This is actually a huge disadvantage as well when you run the Wisp, because the primary objective of running a Wisp plus one is that you want to utilize that global presence. You want to farm the map. You also want to gank glo globally, and neither of that is happening. So Wisp isn't being utilized to its full potential. And we have oh. a fight up here as well. Oh, Spiron, he was just spinning around all over the place. He just crashes into his own base. They got the Serpent Wards chewing away Nico Baby's HP. There's so much damage going all over the place. They just destroy the Wiz KYXY, unfortunately, going straight back to the fountain. We've got our Meepo getting one kill, looking hey. to grab another one. That's two kills, but he just gets killed off by Sam H and SC. It's all three cores alive on the side of Detonator. They'll hey. play it safe on backup. Visa, can we say that we are playing against a time bomb? Like, uh, if, if the game is getting later than 35 minutes, uh, well, the Drow Ranger is going to lose. No, I don't think so. Not with I more. Good. Technically. Make sure that we are not going down this one. <laughs> that okay. was a test, Jenkins, and That's you passed. <laughs> 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 uh, Normally. All right. Tier three tower at 20 minutes in, and they finished. Or well, they they started working on the top shrine, but they have plenty of time to get it before the second Roche comes up. Oh, run away, KYXY! Run away, KYXY! Sad times for a whiz. Yeah, getting out. He'll be fine. Meantime, we've got a small gank here onto Nico. He's all by himself, being chased up by a runner and a morphling. He's got the visage here, What's but fast. King? Uh, the king is not pleased. Is not yes, pleased. Uh, the game's not looking good. He's getting excited. I feel the agitation in his voice. You can see him. Look at how he's sitting in his chair. He's like <laughs> leaning Lean forward. forward. <laughs> Want to get a close look at this? Come on. But yeah, I. Well, that 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 seems to be a good strat for it to clutch gamers. Buy some time first. The thing is that you don't want to buy too much time because when you scale into that ultra late game, I mean, Drow, Marana, Morphling, three massive glass cannons. Middle lane, unfortunately, Earth Spirit will go down. Visage Birds are coming in, just goes for the first stun. Second's done onto Morphling. Ben Hur can jump in with the Lacry, but they don't really have the damage. She's morphing into strength, but it's not going to be oh. enough. Now they're in trouble now. RR is here. Sam H trying to dish out his damage as well, but they get rooted. They are ultra squishy right between the Meepo. They're going to lose almost everyone. And now it's going to be SC trying to run away. Gets hit with the slow, gets a four star forward, but he gets the stuns off. And this might just be the end of the Drow Ranger. Detonator, have they effectively detonated themselves? All right. Uh, well, you better have some explanation for that, Wizard. Let me tell you, they have no AoE for the Meepo. Yeah? <laughs> they need to kill him first. They, uh, he's uh, feeling pretty tanky. Is that, is that the way to, to fix this situation? Because it's not looking good at all. The way they fix the situation is they need to disable the Meepo. They have no AoE disable though, other than like the Gust. I don't, I, I, I don't know if that really I counts. I think you just need to be able to fight into the Meepo. Some BKBs could go a long way on the I don't know though, like you, you, the, the Meepo passive just goes through the BKB and he kills you. That's not the problem though. The problem is if they get rooted and they've got no way to escape, they're yeah. dead. Yeah. Because you can kite around. Like, Morvling can waveform out. G uh, Drow Ranger took the gust distance knockback, and she has frost arrows, and Mirana can leap out. So they have ways to make sure that the Mevo can't, like, stay glued to you with his Geostrike passive. 
I think I think he still can. Like uh, you 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 waveform away and you just blink in with the main meepo, or you follow because like you geo strike and then you waveform and then he they're still really slow because the, all the geo strikes take a while to tick down and they all stack like this slow. So like you'll be like 150 movement speed. I, I would be really concerned about just this meepo in general right now and uh, trying to like smoke to him and then gank him and then take a fight without the meepo or. Start a f I, I guess you can just start a fight on your own terms, too, because if the, the Meepo doesn't look so strong, if his entire team isn't there, like, defending him. We have an interesting transition here from Nico Baby. He's actually picked up a Heaven's Halberd. Mm. So it seems for me that I, I suppose he just didn't get the farm that he wanted, and he's trying to transition into more of that utility gyro. Is that the play? That's very weird. I think it's just because yeah, you, that's, you, that's you, you can disassemble it and make a butterfly in Sanjin Yasha. Um, eventually. What's with all the Both of those items are really good to for late game gyro. And uh, great against the uh, three ranged right clickers coming from Detonator and the Serpent Wards. But if you're going to lose a game, it's going to be because of these Serpent Wards and the Drow Ranger push. So do you have the time to get to a butterfly in Sanjin Yasha? Uh, I mean, the Meepo is definitely hitting a nice timing right now where they don't exactly have enough damage to just burst the Meepo in the fight. You have to actually go on the Meepo as a gank or fight when the Meepo doesn't have as much protection. So I, w I would say for now, yeah. But going late, probably not. E-Blade's going to be up soon for Alacrity as well. So once that is up, pretty much anyone on Detonator can just be insta give by this Meepo. Yeah, it's spooky. It's He's got so stuff. much armor too with the... Ethereal Blade. And it allows him a lot defensively as well, because oh most yeah. of the damage coming from Detonator right is going to be right clicks, so you just make the critical Meepo Ethereal, and then you can just escape him. God damn, dude. I don't want to do jumping jacks, man. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Detonator, man. You got to kill the Meepo. Looks like we've got Spartan all by himself in this bottom lane. There are a lot of Detonator heroes here. He's, he's just by himself. Super brave he is. Top lane, it's got mostly clutch gamer heroes. It's just like basically both teams just swap sides or just like let's let's just let's just trade. I find it so funny that the arrow was like back behind the tower, assuming that Spartan would run back, but he's just sitting in the tower. <laughs> like he he doesn't mm. care. I think he does care. Okay, <laughs> he's all by himself here, right in front of all these heroes. He lives though, so he that's the good news. He's loving it. He loves the adrenaline, you know, that feeling when oh you God. die. Does he ever? <laughs> uh, got a group up here from Clutch. Are they looking to smoke? That's what it looks like. KY, uh, Skylark just completed an assault cuirass on this visage. So that's, uh, again, most of the damage coming out from Detonator is all right clicks. So we'll see the smoke from Spartan in a sec. So we'll see where this rotation goes. Can they go into a 5-on-5 five five against Detonator? Because looking at Detonator's position, they are mostly going to be sticking around as 5. Yep. Are Detonator getting past their base time in the game? Not yet, because uh, Aghanim Scepter was just now completed for Maging Potato's Shadow Shaman, and BKB is just now completed for Morphling, so they are also about hitting their peak just as Clutch Gamers is with this new Assault Cuirass. Smoke versus Smoke, who sees who first? Spartan could be the one to break the smoke there onto Detonator, and that looks like that's gonna be the player's teammates are nearby, the Gust is there, pushes him back. Relocate, do they wanna really go in? Nepo jumps right on top of the Drow, but gets onto the high ground. Right away, we lose two here, it's gonna be Spartan, and also the IO straight away into that buyback. The Drow goes down as well, buyback onto RR. They're trying to TP in and reinforce. Looks like everyone's trying to get away from this massive zombie apocalypse. Poor Skylark though, looks like The Walking Dead all over again. Arrow gonna try and get this Duke off, tries to go for the Grave Chill, but that's not enough movement speed, the slow is just too much. Nico, maybe he's just sticking around. Nico's back. He's back, and now it's gonna be a dead Marana, and also a dead RR. We have a complete wipe and Snake Gold to boot. That, it's not looking good. <laughs> Tell me about it, dude. That is not really it's good not, at all. It's not looking good for that us. That was a perfect landing, just like well, my flight to LA. You <laughs> know, by, by that gyrocopter, right in the middle of the team fight, release all the bullets and also the call down. Here comes the missile here and there. You know your king is tense when he's like waving his crown around. Yeah, it's unfortunate that Shadow Shaman, he, he 
didn't really wait to see where the fight was going to go. As soon as the relocate started happening, he was like, I'm just going to cut off the river, make sure no one else from Clutch Gamers is going to take this angle. And he put all of his snakes inside of the river. But yeah, the majority of the useless. fight was near the Ancients, and so didn't really do very much damage. And you saw whenever Meepo re-entered to try to kill that Marana, the Serpent Wards almost soloed that Meepo. But unfortunately, th for the majority of the fight, they just weren't in the right position. That's going to be the second team wipe of the game as well. I mean, if you're if you're a detonator, you're going to have to start feeling that heat now. Like even though you're running such a high damage lineup, the initiation potential on clutch is, is fantastic. You've got roll-ins, you have relocates, you have blink and meepos. Even the visage isn't too bad. You come in with the birds, get that double stun onto someone, you're basically on top of them. Yeah, specifically shout out to Sh Spartan for that entire fight starting. He broke the smoke. And I thought it was just going to be like, okay, cool, he tanked the gank. But no, they were like, oh, this is a perfect spot to take a fight. They also use the gust on him as well. So yeah, you exactly. use a gust on a solo Earth Spirit, and then suddenly Meepo's on top of you. Yeah. And no one on Clutch Gamers would have been able to get rid of that silence easily. He's got another smoke coming in. Alacrity going to keep his Meepo's in that middle lane. Detonator, got to watch their positions. Because uh, anyone that gets caught out is going to be destroyed. 600 health on all the Meepo's. Is he trying to bait with his Meepo's? Look at look at everyone on detonator. They're just guys head 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 east. Just just go east. Get away from that tower. They even scanned the high ground. Roll. They, they found RR. That's gonna be a very sad undying. Gets picked off in a matter of seconds. And now 30 seconds off the table. This is an opening. Clutch. Have they managed to break through this game? It's looking like a time bomb, King. This is exactly what you were hoping to avoid. Moonlight Shadow gonna be used by Marana. They're gonna hope to use the element of surprise here. Can they kill off these Meepo snakes right on top of them? The Drow trying to dish out the damage oh, onto snakes. Alacrity. Can't quite get it, but the snakes oh. are no! Oh, goodness. Love the that one. Spread damage. Yeah. Oh, that is some scary stuff right there. That Crimson Guard. That, is, that looks it's like so from effective, though. Yeah. <laughs> Coming from US Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Flat Cannon is now down for that more flank, so he's not going to have a second wave, and the Serpents are spent, so I hope that Clutch Gamers don't back off, because those are a lot of cooldowns that were consumed, but it looks like maybe they'll just sit back and wait. They still have the Aegis as well. I'm surprised that they're backing off. I guess Clutch just want to play this safe. That looked spooky, though. You know, all the stuff on the screen. I wouldn't want to push into that again. That was scary Yeah, but that's looking. only going to happen once, right? Uh, I don't know, it's man. Like, it's like ripping off a Band-Aid. You know, sometimes you're going to get Flat Cannon by the Morphling, you're gonna get a uh, Aghanim Serpent Wards, and then and then it's done. You got That's your shot. Oh, Drow gonna try and go for a solo kill here onto poor Spartan. Gets pushed back. Is there enough distance? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just gives up. <laughs> he like, maybe back. If I stare at this tree hard enough, it'll go down. <laughs> Spartan. It's just, like no, I'm pretty sure he's just like, okay, guys, I'm gonna stop <laughs> clicking. I'm gonna stop wasting my APM right here. <laughs> oh, Alacrity spotted up by the entire lineup of Detonator. They're gonna go for the relay. Hey, can they kill off this Meepo? They will, but that's gonna be the Aegis consumed. Here comes this big bad gyro, but he's taking a lot of damage now. He goes down as well. Alacrity gonna continue on fighting, catching out the Drow. He's got the Gust that will give him a little oh, bit of extra space, Meepo. but Ben Hur, he's gonna run away. His BKB has expired, and he's by himself gonna try and waveform into the trees. TP will oh. be successful. Oh, with the dance. That wasn't going to be enough. It's all good, but they still lose three heroes. They broke the Aegis, but not quite what you want at the end of the day. I, just, I can't get over the fact that Spartan dies and just instantly buys back. It does, doesn't even contribute okay, yeah, to the I was going to say, I was like, I didn't <laughs> see him, so what did he do? Oh, goodness. They're just like, guys, we, we have to fight our Earth Spirit bot back. God, who's going to place our Sentry Wards if I'm dead, guys? <laughs> he can't afford the Sentry spot back oh, like man, three that, times. That is heartbreaking. Goodbye, RR. And also, goodbye, Raxas. That's going to be the middle set down right off the bat. Detonator, they, they're going to try really hard to defend this because at this rate, they're just going to lose their entire two sets of Raxas for free. Here comes Raiding Potato, just goes in for one little nuke. Arrow is going to land onto the wolf. Oh. Oh, can they get this kill though? They're trying to catch out Alacrity, but his teammates are doing such a good job at just zoning Detonator away. Those are some nice bird stuns. Birds are good. Oh, there we go. We managed to catch one kill here, just on to Spartan. He's got no buyback, but it doesn't actually matter. They're turning it around. Is this going to be a misplay coming in from Detonator? Alacrity standing right there. He's hit with the E-Blade. He, he doesn't care. They get that kill that they're looking for. Everyone is super low on Clutch Gamer. He's got to be super careful. They get a kill onto the Morphling. There's going to be a buyback available to him if he needs to use it. Sam H is going to have to try and run away. Has to use a leap to play it safe. They've still got two of their major cores around. SC goes for a little gust. 
Got to be careful. We can get jumped on easily. Whoa, not Ooh. even another rack straight no? tier fours. Okay, that forces out the buyback. That's going to cause everyone on Clutch to just back out. Can they catch anyone here, though? Arrow not going to land onto anyone, I'm afraid. And that's just going to be basically Detonator in their base. They they keep the game alive, but one more fight, if they lose it, the game's over. You better start warming up now. <laughs> <laughs> no, not <What>? us. <laughs> You you do as well. <laughs> no, I'm a what king. Do you mean, no, we talked about I'm it. I'm a king. Uh, oh dear. I mean, I'm ripped. I'll I'll do whatever. I'll do push-ups. I don't care. Are you challenging well, the king? <laughs> yeah. You want me to do push-ups? You're I'll brave. <laughs> Twenty, no problem. Push-up. Interesting. <laughs> 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 Better get my seat on first. <laughs> I think Skylark's build is, it, it's difficult to actually recognize the presence of it because armor is a very difficult thing to be like, oh yes, that's making a big difference. But between that and the Crimson Guard, Plus all this 50. physical, yeah, dude, it's ridiculous. He has 54 what? armor right now. I mean, Standing next to the Meepo, he has 41 armor. Look, who looks at their armor in a team fight? Let's yeah, be real. Yeah, I know. It's just the people on Detonator, they're like, they'll look at the armor Baxter? when they're like, is this a big like backstab? This? They jump into Alacrity. Hex is right there. Beautiful gust coming in from SC. They've got to kill him right now, but the teammates are coming in. I think Shadow Shaman's going to die in just a second. Ben Hur is going to try and man fight this Meepo. Going to go for that waveformer in the back. SC is here. Going to have to force off back that Alacrity Meepo, but do they have the damage. They're trying to find it. They get the kill onto the Meepo. Straight insta buybacks. That's going to be two of them. They're still going into this Come fight. They on. kill off that Visage. They hold on by a sliver. Raging Potato, I'm surprised he was Good able job. to survive through that. Good job. Big buybacks. And I have to say, some pretty big death timers as well for Clutch. All right. This is looking good. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, good job, Somehow good job. Gyrocopter got 5k. Swing. Totally wrecked by a sacred arrow. 10k swing. Oh, yeah. For the extra. Did you just correct the king's math? <laughs> I did. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Okay, interesting. I am a wizard. Interesting <laughs> decision here. What are your thoughts on uh, getting the 12% uh, spell amplification rather than mana break on the Marana? I know a lot of people do it. What are your thoughts on it? Is he it is it effective this game? He has a Mjolnir, so that's why he goes. People for do it with a Mjolnir and a Monkey King bar usually, because that actually the, the mana break actually doesn't give you that all, all that much damage. Yeah, you generally you'll style. go for the mana break if you have a mana style or if there's someone that you specifically need to mana burn. No one on the side of Radiant needs to get mana burned, and so you, you're better off just amping up the chain lightning damage and then. Technically but there's a also the there's a cool animation though with the mana break. That's like the there's diffusal animation, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the makes them like a yeah, the blue purple blue yeah. stuff thing. shoots out of them. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. makes yeah. no sense. They shouldn't mana be blue. That does make. Well, I mean, no, it's mixing with your blood when it shoots oh, out. Oh yeah, because there's. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I never thought of it yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Where does the mana come from in wizards? Like where? Where? It's like I your chi. <laughs> Where's the chi? You know that feeling. Three, three, yeah. so Do you not watch Naruto? That just sounds like <laughs> blood. You know that feeling when you know, at the blood? end of a really long day, you just feel really tired. That means your mana is low. Yeah. Okay. I thought your HP. No, your HP is like if you're actually oh yeah, dying. Oh yeah, that would be your HP, wouldn't it? <laughs> no, your HP would be if you're legitimately dying. Like your organ. Like you're sick or How something. How good your organs are at a certain. Like point. health-wise, you're like you're coughing. So I my mean, my HP is pretty low right now. Yeah. No, you're not that low. I'm pretty sure you're 75%. I know you're sick, but you're not low. that sick. That's a little low. That's not low. 75% HP. We're talking I, about I would go blood to seekers fountain. and thirst range. Then th are you that low? I'm not that low. Okay. I mean, I don't know. What? I'm at 110 though. I mean, I'm I'm pumped. <laughs> I don't want to get into the discussion of deadly diseases. Okay, we have already offended pause. enough people with the stream. <laughs> Okay, looks like we've got some internet issues, I'm assuming. They apologized. GG. They, yeah, he said they G twice. They called call game. I don't know if you can do it. that. It's not in one line. It's over. You, you got to do the two Gs that's together. That's a gray area. But there's three Gs. It's that's that's no, effectively it has one line GG. The two Gs need to be horizontal to each no, other, not okay. vertical, okay? Fine. So it's not the correct GG. Wait, we've got it, no, but it's clutch gamers. we got a backstab. Oh, we no, got no, a no. backstab. Massive backstab. Moonlight Shadow from that Marana. Okay, it's on the high ground. If they go on the high ground, this is ultra risky. They get the kickoff onto the Shadow Shaman. The fight begins. Ben Ho jumping right onto the high ground, but look at the meat.
Alpha in the back lines, just going right after this Marana and RR. Do they have the damage taken out? Oh, Equity dropping really, really low. He will die. This is a dieback from that Meepo. Here is dying left, oh, right, and center. Gust. SC, he's at full HP. He is hungry for blood. He gets Spartan and everyone on clutch. They need to get out of here right now. The Visage going to pop their shrine, yes, try and keep yes. himself alive. And Go. now it's going to be everyone on Detonator on no, the no, run. No, no. Ben Hur needs to get out of there. Beautiful Gust coming in from SC. He's going to turn around. Is this a mistake, though? He's right under this gyrocopter. His teammates have just abandoned him. Four stuff is there. They're going to heal up right next to the shrine. Nico, baby, is he really going to man up? It's all three cores on the no side flag. of Detonator. They need to get out of there now. There's way too much damage. RR has bought back as well on Skylark. He needs movement speed. Morphling has flat cannon reloaded on his stolen morph but they're going to back off. Bottom lane, they've got to be careful of that as well. Massive creep wave going to be hitting that tower. Skylark is so tanky in these fights. So what do you so think? Obnoxious. What do you think about the situation right now? I think we're good. I think we're yeah, solid. We're good. I'm we feeling pretty we good selling. about this. <laughs> yeah. Selling. Relocate? I told you, oh, dude. Late like game. Hey. These guys got it. Oh, they're checking not for bad, Roche. Not bad. 15 seconds. It's so close. So, so close. They just needed to sit there for a little bit longer. They've got no alacrity, though. That's the major losing point there. Yeah. The problem is that the Roche needs to happen fast. Oh, if they stayed in the pit. If they stayed in the pit, they would know. Precision Aura is going to be up. And that means that if you spend a lot of time around the Roche pit, you're going to lose your bot racks okay. just the range creeps. This this has to be it. They know this is up now. Spotted by Detonator. Moonlight Shadow deployed. 30 seconds left on this Meepo. Does Clutch engage into this? It doesn't look like it. That'd be so game losing without yeah. Meepo. But then again, I've fought that before and they've done it. Can the Centaur oh. steal it? Look <laughs> at the shackle. Raging Potato is like, takes no. The refresher draw? Really? Double precision or a thing. <laughs> I mean... Hey, double gust as well. You know how well. long you can stall out a fight with Doesn't what? So it would be... Drow just has like a It would be one minute. One minute of precision or Which is 50% cooldown reduction anyway. I don't get it. Oh, did she take it? No, oh, uh, she's not 25 yet. Oh, they gave it away. They gave it to Shaman. Shaman. That, that, that makes a lot of That's sense. No yeah. Double serpent wards. Yeah, but then you actually have to cross the river to do That's that. That's too standard. <laughs> oh, my. Damn, if they, if they ever get to the high ground... Drop those oh double dude, serpent it's wards. Over. Don't even it's go over. for the racks. Just go for tier four. Yeah. Yeah. Go straight for tier fours. I mean, the serpent wards will hit. Will hit the yeah, tier fours true. while fighting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nico could effectively buy Scotty right now if he really wants to, but it seems like he's prioritizing that buyback. If we look at buyback status, we've only got two available on the board. It's the Visage and the Wisp. Everyone else either doesn't have enough or it's on cooldown. So this next fight could be pretty big, especially if Detonator loses some heroes. Luckily for them, they do have the Aegis and Cheese. They've got some extra lives. The cheese a double life, assuming they don't get stun locked. Who was the cheese? Oh, it's Drow Ranger. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she went for the Aghanim's build. Nice. She yeah, doesn't that, have a that's Maelstrom, good. though. That is really good against Meepo. The Tesla Ranger is the real anti-Meepo, but uh, this is good enough. I have to say, Maybe I cannot stop clenching my toes watching this game. I don't want to do jumping jacks. Tsunami, <laughs> <laughs> please give them else. your energy. <laughs> Give them, like, a piece of your beard or something, please. They're on the precipice. I'm not too concerned. They're against an Aegis, but look, they're even feeling confident in threatening high ground. Overconfident, more like. Uh, I don't think so. I'm forcing some TP backs as well. Shaman to be the first one to go back. Does he throw wards? No. Oh, poor bird. Oh, I, heard, I heard a hex. That was that a bird. Was familiar. Yeah. Goodbye, bird. What 25s do we have the potential to get? So Meepo is 25, he took the 8600 HP. Uh, Skylark on the Visage is about to hit 25. I'm assuming he'll take plus one familiar. I would be surprised if he takes the Gravekeeper's Cloak regen. Uh, Raging Potato still has a ways to go, but that will be pretty value if he hits 25. Ben Hur on the Morphling. I'm imagining he goes for the Waveform charges because he keeps stealing Flat Cannon and he has the Waveform attacks target, so him entering the fight immediately shoots out one massive Flat Cannon. And if he gets another charge, that makes it even more useful. I guess he also needs the added mobility too, especially with the Meepo just yeah, flinging out those true. nets. Drow will probably go precision or damage realistically. Yeah, just I think so as well. Given that he's got three ranged or two ranged here cores with him. I mean, look three. at the look at the possibilities of cooldown reduction though. Cooldown reduction on the gust, and that's played a crucial role in these fights as well. Yeah, that's, that's true. Pike, Manta style. Possibly BKB, maybe even like a sheep. 
people love to go for a, a sheet. But then again, I guess if you're going for the Aghanim Scepter, you're focusing a lot on doing damage, so yeah. they would go with the Precision Aura. Very true. People do love... I, I've seen a lot of people go like sheep on this hero, though, because the cooldown reduction is just insane with sheep. Okay, we've got a smoke in the middle lane coming in from Detonator. Now, if they play this right, they could probably just win this game right out. Now, remember, looking at our buybacks, it's not on the cores on the side of Clutch, aside from the Visage. It's daytime, so they can't really afford to pop a smoke on just one hero. They oh, they team. might just go into an entire team. The birds, they're going to go back first. The birds are going to be super far away from this fight. They see Skylark. Skylark. Arrow. Oh, okay, the oh, whole team. Oh, my God. My toes, I may be crushing <laughs> them. <laughs> it's fine. Look, they still Same have they, uh, not a single Rax has been claimed by Detonator yet. Whenever it happens, it's going to happen very fast. Who cares, they don't though? even need it. They've got the tower. Minutes. They just go straight yeah, for T4s. Yeah, that's not important, but the fact is that their lanes are constantly pushing. Normally with the Drow Ranger and Precision Aura, you never have to worry about lanes coming into your side of the map. So you saw the odds have changed. Uh, it used to be like 1.88 and 1.89, and now it's becoming like 3. Was it really that close? That's a lot of respect to Detonator. Yeah. Clutch Gamers has been dominating King's Cup so far. Dude, they need to change it so Wisp doesn't give people eggs. What? What? It used to be a 20 talent, and then everyone always took the GPM, and everyone's like, okay, let's switch it around. That'll make it more balanced. And they're like, wait, now everyone's getting a Scepter at level 10. Or 15. That's ridiculous. With an XP talent, too. Yeah. Okay, what about the Wisp's 25? What are we looking at here, the most likely? Probably the relocate. 60 so second relocate? Yeah, so just so they can uh, rat. Oh. It, it, if they do one successful rap. Well, KYX, play. if he's not careful, he could be the first one to get sniped. He tethers straight away. Sensible. They know something's up. Okay, Alacrity going to be the one hexed up. His teammates are sitting right behind him. So put more Shackle as well from Raging Potato. He's brought in his other Meepos. Up in the top there, they've straight away lost the Undying Meepo. Alacrity doing so much. He's going to go for that big kill under the drought. There's no buyback. Gyro is down as well. KYXY sniped down by Ben Hur in the corner. Alacrity needs to get out of here with his Meepos. Super oh low Sam H. Couldn't finish him off, but the Visage goes down sniped. as well. The Meepo, oh no, this might just be the end. He's going to bring the other Meepo. He's going to fight. He needs to. It's not going to be enough though. Actually, is it enough? He's not dead. He buys back in the end. Okay, the buybacks coming out from Clutch are real. They're going to come right into this. They're going to go straight onto this Morphling. He's just trying to morph into straight. Oh. TP, it's not going to be enough. Massive kills on the side of Detonator. Massive buybacks coming in on the side of Clutch. Well. Every, they may as well just instantly buy back. Everybody has to buy back. There's right no drought for 80. They lose the aura. Massive damage source not available yeah. to them anymore. It was a good sign anyway. <laughs> you know, we, we draw all, all buyback of them. I, even though I, I, I feel like the, uh, the when they start to fight, the detonator positioning is kind of sloppy. They, Jenkins? They, they were like... Um, you better stand up now. <laughs> <laughs> Drow's dead for they, a minute. I have faith. Speed I have faith. Two, two. All right. And if Rasta buys back, he'll have sentry wards in 20 seconds, so he's not going to have it right away. This should be it. Uh, the fight to determine who's going to win this war. Four staff gets picked up as well. They're going to play it safe. Go straight for these Raxes. Moonlight Shadow set up here. Oh, there's the buyback on Drow! Do they, they got a buyback available? Oh goodness, Ben Hur pops his BKB going straight into the gyrocopter form. Does he have the flak though? The cooldown being used. Everyone on the side of oh, Clutch Gamers trying can't... to go into the high ground. Okay, no vision for them. They're actually just going to get away now. That buyback timing on the drow. Potentially saving them that entire set of Raxes. Oh, Skylark, is he going to get caught here? He's got no buyback available as well for six minutes. Grave chill onto RR. Is he okay? Oh, he's just out of range from Raging Potato's vision. It's nighttime as well. My god. He needs that moon shard. <laughs> yeah, right. Night vision. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, those, oh those stacked. Do you guys know the, the night vision from that stacked? Well, I mean, if you're holding one and then you eat one, yeah. Well, if you're holding six of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's Why would you want to hold six? <laughs> I don't know. So you <laughs> for the night vision. So you attack really fast? <laughs> you buy Aghanim Scepter on Night Stalker and <laughs> you get five moon shards. <laughs> It only works if, like, if you hold three moon shards and it activates, like, tree vision. No, man. That'd, That'd be, be broken. Sick. That'd be sick. Would anyone buy that, though, like a support with three like items? Like flying vision? Yeah. That'd be so sick. You have to, ho you have, to have three it of them, It would just though. cost 12,000 gold, that's all. <laughs> 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 Get that on, like, tiny or something. It's not that great on tiny anymore. It wouldn't be, no. Oh, raging potato. They've got the vision on the high ground as well. They know that they were there. They want to see if anyone's like, hey, it's 45 minutes. Let's go for a bounty room. They've got no gem, right? There's like no way for them to spot out the shaman. Yeah, there's no gem. Yeah, they smoke on Radiant. 
They're gonna send IR onto the high ground. The kick is there straight. Oh my goodness. Undying. Oh, Alacrity jumping right on top of the Drow Ranger. Is gonna be able to get away. They've got the invisibility to work with. Alacrity's in trouble. The guts connecting onto everybody. But can they find this low HP Meepo? They just can't. There's too many of them. It's a small army versus a big army. Spartan just gonna be able to walk it out of there. He is limping Ben Hur onto the high ground. He gets Alacrity. He gets the gyro. Yes. They've lost the whisk. Yeah. Everything is crumbling for Clutch Gamers and oh. Detonator. Right. They got the kills that they were looking for. That small area of engagement has potentially won them this game. Hell Actually, yeah. that small area was so hard to fight. Uh, when, when you play a Drow Ranger, I, I, I've, I've seen, I, I saw the Drow Ranger and Shadow Charm and uh, fighting um, next to each other, and the, uh, he was in perfect positioning to be safe from all the call down and small, uh, all the strong AoE spells. That like was great positioning. I think even though all these lanes are just so far pushed out, I don't think there's any way of just reclaiming this game. They don't have Serpent Wars for a minute, so... It's 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 a minute for the next hero to spawn. I don't think there's a chance that they're going to be able Probably to win not. this. Yeah, oh, he's got a DD on Morph too. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. Game is all right, over. Yeah. GG. <laughs> Clutch gamers. I would just say, I'm very impressed with how Detonator played. They played, like, considering some of the circumstances, they played pretty good. Yeah, the Meepo pick was exotic, and normally a ninth, or 10th pick Meepo is unanswerable, but Detonator didn't really get too intimidated by it, and their Tricore lineup worked out very well. I would, uh, yeah, I would say that Detonator just had this far superior, like, hyper late game. The Meepo is a hero who takes an advantage and wins with that, but the moment he loses his, his advantage, he doesn't look so strong, and obviously when you get to the late game, you can't fill more than six slots of items, so <laughs> he'll always at <laughs> yeah. some point lose yeah, that, his advantage. That, that kind of full slot item is, is matters in this one, and also ability to handle the pressures. They, they have made some small mistakes uh, in a, such a crucial times, especially the decision of going to into the Roshan fight and all that. You know, it just... It's 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 kind of sad to see them lost this one because um, the as you can see from the graph the momentum was on them. There was like w that one fight that they fought with Meepo where they, I, I'm not sure what they thought was the power spike there whether it was a certain item or the Meepo got the fourth Meepo. Yeah. But they 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 cho they chose to fight at a specific time. The Meepo seemed unkillable and then they had momentum, uh, and then it went late game and they lost <laughs> basically. But uh, the most important thing about that game for me is the fact that you guys <laughs> have to do 20 jumping jacks. Yes. So. Am I allowed to take this off first? No, I'm no, no, if no, I do, no, no. If I do jumping jacks with this, it's probably going to like crush my skull. It's freaking heavy. It's part of the part of the deal. Yeah. <laughs> I can take this off. You never said I had to wear this. Uh, that is true. Yeah. Yeah. That, that wasn't part of the... <laughs> All right, guys. It's okay, actually okay. heavy. All we'll right, do, we'll do it's 20 heavy. jumping jacks, and as uh, as the jumping jacks are proceeding, we can we can go to we can go to break. Yeah. People don't, don't want to see, see it? it. No, no, you want to see it. We'll just do it. We'll do some, you know, sort of fade out thing. I'm sure hey. production can. We gotta be in, like, in, hey, in, in the hey. 15 seconds that you're doing, it, production can figure out some fade out thing. Okay. They've been doing all crazy okay. stuff. <laughs> okay, wait. Come on, guys, chop, chop. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, I thought I'm a king. I'm your, I'm your trusty wizard. Oh yeah, nice one. <laughs> Good. <laughs> we made the right choice. I, I, I informed you. I, I'm your informant. All right. Do you want to count hey. together? Yeah. Okay. You're Go. Okay. Yeah. All right. The real jumping jacks, by the way. Don't 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 cheap out on it. All right. Let's go. A king decree. Yeah. Okay. Oh, one. Ah, uh, do it now. One, <laughs> two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. I can hear tsunami.